So I, I want to highlight how in uPortal and in JSA, there is a large and growing number of mature, tested, production-ready, off-the-shelf portlets available for uPortal. And a lot of these are uh, separate projects that require you to go uh, to JSIG, to go to the, those project pages and get that technology and bring it in to your portal. Examples uh, of separate project portlets that you can grab include these two that are on this page right here. The calendar that I mentioned before, it's one of the longest standing, sort of most widely adopted portlets in JSIG. And similarly, the announcements portlet over here on the left which is another one of the longest standing, most mature, best adopted JSON portlet for you portal. Uh, and these are both examples of portlets that are available in JSIG, but that are not included with you portal. You have to get them separately. Now I've done something a bit new with these. Uh, over here on the announcements and notices tab, Although the announcements portlet itself is not new, there are ongoing uh, improvements, development, and enhancements going on in there. So I set up a quick example to highlight that. On, on this tab, in the right-hand column, I have two announcements portlet. I'm using the whitelist flavor of the announcements to divide portal announcements from Unicon announcements and display them separately. Now, in this case, I've got them both on the same page, but I wouldn't have to do that. They might be in completely separate areas of the portal. In this example, over here with this announcements, you can see traditionally how announcements have been displayed with everything, every category of announcement bundled together in a single viewer. But on this tab, I have mixed things up a bit and I've separated them into portal announcements and Unicon announcements so you can see them differently. In addition to calendar and announcements, something else that you might want to add that doesn't come with uPortal, but is very exciting. In 2011, this was uh, developed in partnership with University of Manchester. It's called the Notifications Portlet. And where the Announcements Portlet delivers article-sized uh, messages to everyone on campus or perhaps to large constituencies on campus, the Notifications Portlet is designed to present highly targeted messages, things like you have a book that's past due at the library. You individually, Andrew Wills, have uh, an overdue library book, and we want you to know it in the portal. Uh, so that's another example of a, a portlet that you can bring in to your uPortal. And there are many uh, like that. But in addition to those that uh, are available to be brought in, uh, another emerging trend in uPortal is how we are bundling more and more JSIG portlets with uPortal out of the box. And so I want to talk about a few of those. Uh, one of those, uh, which is uh, kind of recent, is the newsreader. So down here, at the bottom of this page, we can see the JSIG Newsreader Portlet, which is bundled in uPortal 4. And, and this is a uh, JSR 286 portlet, actually, uh, J, uh, Portlet 2.0 portlet, that is capable of displaying RSS feeds and aggregating RSS feeds from campus or, or anywhere, really. You know, here's an example of that at work. And furthermore, an example of a bundled portlet. Another bundled portlet is this one that we've already looked at, the email preview portlet. These days, uh, this JSIG portlet is bundled with uPortal 4 and included with uPortal, you know, what you might download if you just went to get uPortal. And then the last example that I want to mention of that relates to this tab that I set up, uh, announcements and notices. I have here in the left column uh, an emergency alert admin a portlet. Uh, that allows me to turn on the demo uh, version to enable the demo version of the Emergency Alert Portlet, which is a new uh, JSIG portlet. It's actually part of the JSIG Widget Portlets project, but it's a new JSIG portlet available uh, directly with uPortal. It's bundled with the platform itself. So if I go ahead and uh, hit the portal again now that I've enabled it, uh, you can see a message at the top of the screen in bold, in large font, taking over a huge region, uh, warns me that there's a dangerous indiv individual on campus. 
So, you know, with, with this last example, I really wanted to highlight a treatment of different kinds of messages within the portal. We saw, you know, general announcements, we saw targeted notifications, and here we're seeing, you know, a completely different use case. We're seeing uh, an alert, um, you know, a notice that is, is so remarkably important that, that we want we want the ability to take over the portal experience, basically to hit the user over the head with this announcement because it, it, it's important on that level. And this is another JSIG portlet, uh, a newer one, but it happens to be bundled with uPortal 4 out of the box.